Good morning. A lot of people have been asking about events and clinics. Uh, to set the stage uh, completely, Five isn't specifically designed for uh, events and that kind of thing, especially outside of your current membership base. Uh, but there are ways of doing it depending on how many you think you're going to get, um, what type of event it is. So I'm going to show you if I was personally running an event using FitHive and I wanted to take uh, payments for it in advance and get registrations, I'm going to show you how I would personally do it. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the easy one, uh, just existing members. Uh, what I would personally do is I'd go to settings, I go to classes, I'd create a class type. Um, the class type I would do is just events and that's just to you organize it a little bit better for you. And then once you create the uh, events in the class types, you know, you can just hit add, to add type. Uh, I've already created one. It's just a kind of a placeholder or a folder to put the class types in. And then classes available. And then I would create the class that you want to um, add to it. So I'm just doing a nutrition clinic. Inside of this nutrition clinic, I named it nutrition clinic, made the type events. Um, you can change the background color so it's easier to find. If you have an instructor, great. And then I'm putting the price in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I created a nutrition clinic membership type, and I'm gonna restrict it to that specific type. Uh, so that way if they have that membership, they don't have to charge for this. This will be specific uh, uh, mainly for when um, you sell externally. So I'll show you what that looks like, but uh, just know that you either create the membership first or you go back and add that nutrition clinic in there. You can add the description, highly recommend doing that just so it's easy for people to read uh, depending on which way they're coming to. And then you're gonna hit save. Then I'm gonna go to my schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and add that clinic in there and I added it on the 15th of the month. Now once you've done that, what happens is uh, the uh, progressive web app will add that to the schedule. So I'm gonna view, I'm just gonna find it pretty quickly here on the 15th. And right here's the nutrition clinic. Then if their existing member, when they go to sign up for it, if they don't have that membership, if they haven't already purchased it, what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to pay for it with whatever card they have on file to register for that class. Uh, so that would register for the event um, and it would also charge them for it. So it makes it super simple. Now the cool thing about the progressive web app, when you click on this, it creates this link up here. Uh, this link can be used other places. So what I did is I copied that, went back to my admin portal. I'm gonna go to settings, go to my dashboard, and then I just added this little hyperlink, right? Um, you can add the hyperlink or the sign up link that you have. I named it Nutrition Clinic Sign Up. I just made it this cool little blue button and hit OK. Once you hit Save, cool thing about that is it'll always be up here at the top of the app. So every time your members log in, you can do that. Now you could, what I would recommend, is also just make a quick YouTube video, um, get that uploaded. I'm just gonna pull one of one of these uh, FitHive videos. I'm gonna share it hit embed, I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna go back here, and let's just say that's just explaining what the nutrition clinic is all about, right? Uh, just so you know for a fact your members know what's going on. I'm gonna add the link. I just added that video in there, I'm gonna hit save. And now when your members log in, they can be like, ooh, what's this nutrition clinic thing about? They can watch the video. If they like what they see, they just click sign up, and it takes them directly to that sign up link and they can submit their payments. Super simple, super easy. Um, and then uh, they're, they're ready to rock and roll, right? So that's your existing members. Now for external members, you can, uh, let me find where I put it. So this is just the, the FitHive main website uh, for the demo account. On the schedule, right, the public schedule, it'll have you know, the same look and feel, same everything as the uh, members. But then they're gonna see the nutrition clinic, right? And then they can hit sign up. 
I'm just gonna take this and find my incognito tab. There we go. Let me minimize that. I hit schedule. Let me go back to that. Cause I'm already logged in. I just went incognito just so you can see what it looks like. So if anybody in the public that's not an existing member already, if they go to hit sign up, what it's gonna do is it's gonna come to that login page. Now you can adjust and change this login page. We do have a support article on there to figure out how to do that. But same thing here is what I did, right? I, uh, you know, you want them to have the ability to hit nutrition clinic sign up. What I did is inside of the membership, I'm just going to find nutrition clinic MN right there. So this is the membership that I created. I would recommend writing as much of a description in here as humanly possible. Um, just named it what I wanted to name it. You can add drips. Personally recommend adding a tag in there. So if you need to communicate with these people um, that have signed up, require the credit card at sign up, allow previous and existing members to sign up just in case they come through this way. Uh, don't let, make sure it's not auto renew, change the pace. I would say the membership period, uh, just make sure that's long enough to be uh, within the time frame of, you know, uh, I set it up for the 15th. I just put it out as a month. I made it pass based. So it's one pass. So that the only thing they can register for is that one class, right? Um, I'm gonna allow them for the uh, to use this for a class because that's how I set it up. No general check-ins, no default, no nutrition, none of that stuff. Um, and I'm gonna hit save just in case because if they get into the app and all that other stuff, uh, not a big deal. Um, it actually will help your brand, make it easier for them um, if they do get into it. But at the end of it, uh, it'll cancel out after they use that pass, right? Um, or after the period. You know, I could technically make this zero, do the math, um, and I'm just gonna say, let's see here, 11 days. So I'm gonna do on the 12th day, and I'm just gonna hit save. So in 12 days, uh, it'll automatically shut off. Uh, worst case scenario, they have get a little bit of programming or something for a couple of days. But at the end of the day, if they're not an existing client, and they get a little bit more access to your stuff, uh, maybe that'll help out, right? Um, but I'm gonna go back I meant to copy that link, nutrition clinic. And I'm gonna take that link, right? That sign up link. And I'm gonna go to my website. Uh, go to login, find my login page right there. What I did is you can edit this tab. And I did the same thing. I just hyperlinked and added that button in there hit set content right perfect <clears throat> so what's gonna happen in that flow right when somebody in the public goes to sign up uh, if they do it through the schedule what's gonna happen is they'll come here and be like, yep I want to sign up for the nutrition clinic they'll put in their email assuming that they're not in your account um, it's gonna automatically roll over and I think most of these emails are part of it. Oh, nope, that's not, that's a good one. So they're gonna enter in their, their information, add in their payment information at pay and register. Once they hit pay and register, it's gonna take them to their account uh, inside of FitHive, right? Uh, which will look something like this. Mm. I'm just gonna go to the main account. So what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna be uh, come over here, right? Uh, to their, their main account. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. So just, just follow me here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to settings, dashboard. I only want this to be in the mobile app. So this is the global dashboard content. I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna delete all this stuff because we don't need it for ours. I'm gonna put this down on the mobile, perfect. And then I'm gonna delete these, good. Then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna say, uh, did you sign up for the nutrition clinic? 
And then um, please RSVP via this link. Perfect. I'm going to go back to my schedule. I'm going to go to my schedule. Sign up. Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and sign up. There we go. Sorry, that was a bad example. I'm just going to add my um, I'm going to add that membership just so you can see what the end user experience will look like memberships I'm just going to add nutrition clinic Schedule, refresh, perfect. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to take this link, right? Because this is how they register for it since they've already purchased the nutrition clinic. I'm going to go back to my settings, dashboard, and then I'm just going to go back to my user account dashboard and uh, regis register for the register here. Highlight that, click here, paste, make it an, I'm gonna just make it uh, a red button. Oh, no, perfect. I'm gonna hit save. Cool, I'm gonna refresh it. Perfect. So once somebody buys, right? So if they go uh, find my incognito tab, once they buy, right, from the public site or from the login page, once they buy it and hit pay and register, it'll automatically take them to their account, which will look like this. And you can make this big, bold letters, uh, whatever you like. Uh, worst case scenario, you see that they've purchased and you can add them as a registrant. But ideally, what's going to happen is they'll go here, they'll read this, you can make them sign a waiver if you want. Uh, but it's just going to say register here. And then it doesn't charge them anything and they're just going to register for it and they're ready to go, right? Um, they'll get the, if you've got it set up for the automations, it'll get those automations as well. Now, that same format you can do the same thing with like a landing page, right? So I went in, created a landing page, you know, add page, uh, nutrition uh, clinic. Here we go. And you can make this landing page, whatever you want. Uh, I click landing page. You can keep the, the other header there. And then what I did right here is whatever call to action, however you want it. I took that sign up link which you can find it here. I'm gonna type it nutrition. Perfect, this is the one that I created. And then added that in there. Perfect. So what's gonna happen, they'll read through it, they can watch your video, they can do whatever. And then, uh, you know, this could be uh, not ready to sign up or wanna learn more. And this could be, this form can be connected to a drip so you capture the information. But they'll hit sign up. It'll take them to the sign up page and then they'll do that same format. Um, so I would recommend, uh, there's lots of articles and support stuff inside of the FitHive support on the blog to kind of go through each one of those little phases. If you have any questions on this, let me know. Um, 
if once you understand the process and the format, um, you can definitely use this and make it work uh, very, very well. Just depends on how you wanna sell it and how you wanna send it out to people. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.